Welcome to my channel. This is Franco Pantaleon. In this video, I will show you how to determine directly the standard deviation through your calculator using the mode SD. But before that, um, let us first review the formulas for the standard deviation. So we have this useful formula for the population standard deviation. So this is our formula for population standard deviation. And this is our formula for sample standard deviation. Now I have here another formula, the shortcut formula for population standard deviation and the shortcut formula for sample standard deviation. I presented this shortcut formula simply because when you will be required to show your solution, then you can use this shortcut formula to present your solution. However, you may present your solution in a much faster way. Now, suppose you are given scores of, of on, a, on an exam with this data. We have 92, 95, 85, 80, 75, and 50. Now, to determine your sample standard deviation, normally what you usually do is you first get the corresponding average and in putting along this, writing along this, these um, values here would require time. Now, another is that you may need to set up this table here. Again, guys, writing this table here, writing these numbers, and performing the operations involved will still require much time and this is the useful formula for the sample standard deviation now take note that our sample standard deviation based on the computation is 16.23 I would like to emphasize that again writing all these solution would require much of your time now we what we would like to do is we will determine directly the values of our standard deviation using the mode SD so we will do it the easy way So to select the standard deviation mode, you really need to press your mode twice and you press 1. So we input the values 92 M plus, 95 M plus, 85 M plus, 80 M plus. 75 M plus and 50 M plus. We can now de determine directly our average. We have shift 2 and we press 1, we get our <coughs> average. Now, shift 1 and we select 1 and we get our average. Now, to determine our sample standard deviation, we have shift 2 and we select 3 to determine our sample standard deviation. So, we directly, we have 16.23, which is just similar to our previous calculation. 
Now, if you are really required to present your solution, we will use the shortcut formula for the sample standard deviation. So, let us first write the formula for the sample standard deviation. Okay. So, what we will do now is, after writing our formula for sample standard deviation, we simply write the corresponding values for our expressions. So, we need to determine summation of x squared and summation of x, which we can readily determine. So, we press easy first, then shift 1, and we select 1 equals, we have summation of x squared, we have 39,239. And Again, pressing EC, summation of X, we select 2, equals, we have 477. Now, having determined these values, we simply substitute these values into our equation. So, let us first write our, the values for our equation. We have N is 6 since we have 6 observations. And of course, this value here. And we have this value all over n is 6 and minus 1 is 5. There's no need for us to compute simply because we already have determined our sample standard deviation previously. We will simply copy the value of our standard deviation, sample standard deviation. This is only, we only write this to justify our value. Okay, it's just like reverse engineering. Next, if you are required to solve for our population standard deviation, just for illustration purposes, we select shift 2 and we select number 2 equals to determine our population standard deviation and we have 14 point. 82 if we round it up to two to decimal places. Okay. So if we are really required to show our solution, then we will simply use the shortcut formula for the population standard deviation. So let us first write the formula for the shortcut formula for population standard deviation. Now, of course, we have determined already our values for summation of x squared and summation of x. So, we will simply reflect the values of these expressions into our equation. Okay, we write the corresponding numbers. And there we have it. Our population standard division is 14.82. So, we were able to solve our average, our sample standard division and population standard division with ease and with much speed. Okay. <clears throat> so, there you have it. If you like the content of the video, click like and subscribe. And please share if you think that this video can help others. And Please don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thank you.